station ZYX now interrupts our program, Genghis Khan, fastest gun in the Far East, to bring you a special Humpley Blinkley news report. Come in, Humpley Blinkley. This is Humpley Blinkley speaking from the 18th floor of Hotel Downtown. I'm about to climb out on the window ledge and speak to an unidentified young man who's getting ready to make the big jump. Hi there. I'm Humpley Blinkley, television news reporter. Mind if we chat a moment? Stay away. It's no use. I can't go on. It's best this way. Oh, I said that word again. That word best. It's haunting me. That's what started my troubles. I can see it all so clearly. My troubles started the day Chevrolet dealers received their test the best truck demonstration materials. From the minute the dealer and sales manager mapped out their special promotions and selling strategy, I was a goner. Then, test the best posters started appearing in Chevrolet dealerships. Test the best ads popped up in newspapers. An invitation to test the best truck was mailed out to truck users. On some of the nation's most popular television shows, people heard about Chevrolet's test the best trucks. And there were even special trucks in the dealership set aside for Chevrolet salesmen to demonstrate. Excuse me, but uh, what has this to do with... Look, whose problem is this? Oh, uh, sorry. The sales managers in Chevrolet dealerships held regular test-the-best progress meetings to keep the activity rolling. And those Chevrolet salesmen, they really pitched in. They started calling truck users on the phone. They went all out to cultivate all that lucrative truck business that's around. They really turned on the old LPDC. That was the clincher. That's what ruined me. LPDC? That word doesn't even make sense. It does to a Chevrolet truck salesman. It stands for learn, plan, drive, close. That's Chevrolet's test the best truck demonstration formula. You can't beat it. Really works, huh? Well, I wouldn't be out here on this ledge if it didn't. Let me explain it step by step. Take the first point, learn. That means learn your prospect's needs. Ask questions. Every businessman is proud of his achievements. He's flattered when a conscientious salesman shows an interest in learning more about his needs, and his needs will reveal key points to stress in the demonstration itself. If the truck prospect has any drivers or mechanics, sometimes a friendly talk with them uncovers other needs and mechanical features to stress, too. Once the salesman has a clear picture of a prospect's needs, he can plan the route Plan the type of demonstration ride that has the most meaning to his prospect. Plan a route to include a variety of driving conditions. Railroad crossings, high speed, open road straightaways, stop and go busy traffic, sharp turns, rough, unimproved roads, or off-road trails. Let the demonstration route sell Chevrolet trucks total ride. If a prospect has a definite route, try to familiarize yourself with it. Maybe the prospect's actual work route can be used for the demonstration. But whatever route is used, drive it yourself. Before the prospect ever gets in the truck, check out the route and the vehicle. Rehearse your demonstration ride before you let the truck perform. Then you'll be sure to cover all the sales points you want to make at the right time. Next, drive it yourself with the prospect as your passenger. Give him a chance to relax and fully enjoy the total ride of a Chevrolet truck while you translate what he's seeing and feeling into benefits he knows and appreciates, emphasizing the quality features that Chevrolet alone provides. For example, the balanced ride, thanks to independent front suspension with performance-matched rear suspensions. You might point out that like a prize fighter, a truck lasts only as long as its ability to avoid jarring bumps, jolts, and bruises. So drivers of ordinary trucks must often baby their vehicles, travel slower, take the long way around bumps and rough spots to avoid punishing their vehicles. But in a Chevrolet truck, the shortest distance between two points is always a straight line, regardless of road surface. Chevrolet's suspensions work together to smother damaging shocks before they hit the frame, chassis, and vital truck components. The result? 
Trucks last longer, move faster, cost less to operate, and protect cargo and driver better. It all adds up to making more money for the truck user. And that's why trucks are bought, to make money. While driving a truck prospect through traffic, point out other important Chevrolet features. Visibility and sure stopping brakes. Safety features that a truck user is interested in. At every opportunity, drive home the sell about Chevrolet's rigid frame, built like a bridge to last longer on any road with any load. A cab that's tightly welded and sealed to be rattle free. The fresh styling with wider hood for easier engine servicing. Cab comfort with office size spaciousness that really lets a man stretch out his legs and hold his head high. The engine performance unmatched in the industry. Chevrolet tradition, a proved fact. The quality touches such as glare proof instrument panel and rubber stripping around the doors. And after you've driven home the cell, let him drive. Get the prospect behind the wheel. Invite him to drive back over the same route. Let him experience truck handling ease and maneuverability that sells itself. And when he's driving, give him the silent cell. Keep quiet. Answer questions, don't ask them. Let the prospect feel, see, and prove to himself that everything you've said about the Chevy truck is absolutely true. Then you're ready to close the sale by ending the demonstration ride at a place where you have a natural opportunity to ask for the order. For instance, begin and end the demonstration at the dealership, the prospect's place of business, or his home. You might lead into the close by making recommendations about the Chevrolet truck model and optional equipment best suited to his business needs. When a Chevrolet truck salesman follows the proved LPDC formula, he just can't miss. Learn the prospect's needs. Plan the route to prove Chevrolet truck fulfills those needs best. Then the salesman is off to a winning start. And when he gets on the road, drive it yourself. Then let him drive and close your sale. That's the way to give a Chevrolet LPDC demonstration. And I just can't take any more of it. Goodbye. Wait a minute before you take that big jump. There's still something you haven't explained. I understand what LPDC means, but how does it work? Well, that's easy, because it's easy to work. Easy as turning over a record, like this. Okay, Blinkley, I'll give you a real new scoop. I'll expose how Chevrolet truck LPDC works. Let's say you're a Chevrolet truck salesman. Okay, suppose I'm a Chevrolet salesman. I'm in the dealership. What happens now? Well, the dealership service manager calls your attention to a 58 pickup that was brought in for some major repairs. Let's say it's owned by Joe Morgan, an egg wholesaler. What's an egg wholesaler? That's where learning comes in, Blinkley. An egg wholesaler contracts to deliver a farmer's eggs to market. And when a man hauls a payload as fragile as fresh eggs, he's an ideal prospect for a 61 Chevy truck. So you call Joe Morgan on the phone maybe to give him a progress report on his truck repairs and to make an appointment to see the new fleet side. You might say something like, Since you have the responsibility of seeing those eggs get delivered on time and in good condition, Mr. Morgan, I'd like to show you our new 61 fleet side and demonstrate how it can make more money for you every mile you drive. By the way, Mr. Morgan, how many deliveries do you make each week? By simply asking questions, even over the telephone, about the number of trips he makes, payload, and the kind of roads he works on, you can pick up important clues about the prospect's truck needs. So you can plan a demonstration route that shows off Chevy's total ride. You plan to closely duplicate your prospect's driving conditions. The day of the demonstration, you check over the truck demonstrator to make sure you're familiar with how it handles and that it's clean inside and out. And if possible, you drive it over the demonstration route before you greet your prospect with a sales presentation and demonstration that will sell you as well as the new Chevrolet. The 61 fleet side has several loading advantages, Mr. Morgan. The tailgate opening is nearly four feet wide and the loading height is less than 28 inches. Those egg crates you have to load in and out weigh about 50 pounds each. So this lower, more convenient loading height certainly saves you muscle power and... 
These new 61 cabs are really something, aren't they, Mr. Morgan? Notice how flat that floor tunnel is and how low the cab sits. You just step right in. No fuss and no danger of banging your knee or shins. Go ahead, step in, see for yourself. Well, all right, but I'm really not in the market for a new truck yet. Inside the cab, you can explain and point out features like the Chevrolet headroom, legroom, and just plain sit and comfort. A good walk-around presentation can lead right into a sales-clinching, on-the-road demonstration. Ending your walk-around by getting the prospect into the cab puts you in the driver's seat to offer, in a natural way, to take him out for a test-the-best ride. Every salesman has his own technique to get a demonstration ride started, from making arrangements to call at the prospect's home and drive him to his place of business, to making a simulated delivery run with him during the work day. It makes no difference what approach you use, as long as it results in getting the prospect in the truck and out on the road, where you can demonstrate it at real working speeds and drive home the facts about Chevrolet truck benefits. That independent front suspension really makes a difference, doesn't it, Mr. Morgan? It soaks up the road shock before it ever reaches you, your cargo, or truck components. Each Chevrolet front wheel acts independently of the other. They aren't tied together by an I-beam axle, so jolts and jars from one wheel can't be transmitted to the other. Road shocks can't travel through the truck frame, sheet metal, and truck components. Obviously, the less punishment, twist, and strain your truck takes, the longer its tires and truck life will be, too. And better ride means better handling, greater safety, less driver fatigue. While you're skimming along over the hills and taking sharp turns, you have a natural opportunity to talk about Chevrolet's superior engine performance and handling. Finally, pull the truck over to the side of the road. Invite your prospect to test the best, to drive the 61 Chevy fleet side back into town. After riding in a Chevy truck, your prospect will be anxious to get behind the wheel and feel the difference for himself. Before your prospect actually starts the truck underway, check him out on the Chevrolet shifting and the instrument cluster. Be sure he understands them, especially if he's never driven a Chevrolet truck before. When you trade places, you might make the switch where a turn is necessary. The ease with which the truck maneuvers and responds will make a vivid impression right away. And remember, once your prospect's at the wheel, keep your conversation to a minimum. Let him concentrate on driving, feeling, and enjoying the 61 Chevy Total Ride. Say, that railroad crossing we came over on the way out's right ahead. I'd better slow down. I don't want to ruin your truck. Those bumps won't hurt this 61 at this speed. Independent front suspension plus coil rear springs work together to give this truck a balanced ride. Go ahead, Mr. Morgan. Step it up if you want to. Say, that was pretty good. I'd never be able to do that in my old truck. And I bet if you had a full load of eggs in back, you wouldn't have scrambled a single one. That's how this 61 Chevrolet truck can make real money for you, Mr. Morgan. It lets you travel faster over any kind of road without worry about damaging your payload. Well, I'll admit this truck handles easy, and my wife would sure like that. She uses the old pickup for shopping trips into town. But this new fleet side's a little too rich for us right now. I think you're in for a very pleasant surprise, Mr. Morgan. Since we're right here at the dealership, why don't we step into my office a minute, and with your old 58 in trade, I know we can work out a good deal. And that's how easy it is to demonstrate a 61 Chevrolet truck, Blinkley. That's the way Chevrolet's LPDC works. L for learn the prospect's needs. P for plan the demonstration route. D for drive. You drive and sell, then let the prospect drive. And finally, C for close the sale. Congratulations, you learned fast, Blinkley. Now you know why I'm out here on this ledge. It's all because of the Chevy salesman's test the best truck demonstration. That's why I'm going to jump. Because you bought one? No, because I don't sell them. I work for Chevrolet's competitor. Who stands a chance selling against a Chevy test the best demonstration? Then why don't you switch to selling Chevrolet trucks yourself? You know, that's a darn good idea. Selling Chevrolet trucks really makes life worth living. <laughs>